Welcome back to my channel. 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 Welcome back to my my high neck top. It's getting colder, but I'm actually I'm not I'm not mad at it. Like I feel like the UK summer this this year kind of banged. It kind of banged. Back to school, back to uni. So I thought I would come through with a little affordable number. A couple of these products are ones that have been going viral on TikTok and Instagram. So I'm really excited to try them for the first time. A lot of these products I've actually used before and are literally like some of my drugstore favorites. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking about this unit as well. That'll be next week. I need to wait for that to get approved first. So um, hold tight for the details of this car. She's very soft. She's very soft. Let me stop rambling. Let me get straight into the video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. It really, really, really helps me on the channel. And I think, let me look up my stats right now. You know what? Analytics matter. Okay. Oh, my, the ratio has gone up though. That's literally gonna make me cry. <sighs> let me let me start my makeup and we can talk about this. Okay. <laughs> cool. So we're starting off with the Laneige sleeping mask. I've been using this for years. You also think YouTube is uh, YouTube is hard, guys. Every single video, I'm trying to step up my editing game and just make it as entertaining as possible, give you as many perspectives as possible, just give you guys that form of escapism really through videos. I love long form content. I grew up watching YouTube and so, yeah, this space has such a special place in my heart and wait, let me get into this first because I need to. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It's something that you're meant to pop underneath your foundation, but honey, the coverage on this, for, for the girls that like like the no makeup makeup, light makeup, this is, this is literally it. I swatched it the other day, period. This is the darkest shade as well. Elf, we need some more colors because I'm I'm a dark skin girl, but I'm not the darkest shade. So this is eight, rich. The dofa for this is huge. Like it's really nice and it's really easy to apply. Okay, let's actually try it on a side where I've got some, some hyperpigmentation. Are you actually seeing that? Nah, come on. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of a color correcting shade just because that's what I would do anyway with my normal makeup go into some of the darker areas just to balance everything. Short form content gives you quick, quicker results, let's say. But long form media has a special place in my heart. I really, really enjoy make like the process of video editing. So I actually did photography for GCOC and I got an A star in that great team. YouTube is my baby. I think I, I, I will always try to maintain some form of content on this platform for a long time, let's just say. But especially when you're starting out, like full time properly on YouTube, it takes a while for things to pick up and where you've spent 15, 20 hours plus to create a video and then you're only getting like two or three K views on it. Whereas I could make something in three hours for TikTok or Instagram and get way more views and way more likes. Sometimes it kind of does, uh, take a toll on your, you don't want to put your self-worth into social media, but when it's your job, you have no choice, you know? To some extent, people will put their self-worth into their job. At the end of the day, that's what motivates you to do well. That's what will drive you to, to reach certain goals. And that's pretty normal, but you have to be super mindful of it when social media is your job because, bruh, I mean, Lord knows the effects that it has on our minds. Anyway, I say all of this to say my, <laughs> see how my, my, my brain works? I'm a very distracted individual. Previously, my subscribed to not subscribe ratio was about 30 to 70, I would say. A lot of you have finally joined the family, so thank you so much if you have subscribed and I hope you are enjoying the content that I make. But if you're not subscribed and if you've watched my videos and if you've watched a couple of videos, please consider joining the family, like genuinely. It's helping me pay my bills and it's helping me continue doing what I'm doing. So like, if you don't want to help us this out on that level for free, I don't know if you, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. 
liquid filter. How stunning is the finish of this, guys? Oh, it's just so seamless. I think I've actually got a really good color match too. Like, just going in with a couple more of the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealers. Um, they are a mess, but yeah. I wanna take this opportunity to ask you guys what kind of content you wanna see from me on this channel. Please let me know. And if anyone leaves a comment on like a video idea that you guys also really like, please like that comment so I know what the general consensus is. At the end of the day, I make this content because I enjoy making it, but I make it for you guys too. So feedback is always, always welcome. So let me know. Just gonna go in with this setting spray just to kind of wet things a little bit. I definitely have a habit of putting too much concealer on. I feel like less is more these days and I just have not, have not got the memo. But let's catch up. How's everyone doing? I hope your summers have been like good. You've enjoyed it. I feel like most places in the world have ha actually had like a proper summer this summer. Especially in the UK, the weather really pulls through fast. So I'm very grateful for the summer that we were granted. Um, one thing I would say though is my social battery is so low right now. Like, I know I've said previously in videos that I'm I'm an introvert. After I did my 16 personality test, I will leave what personality type I am here. Yeah, it just made me clock that I'm I'm a true ambivert. Like I can be extroverted in social situations, I'm good with socializing, but after a while, I do need to recharge by myself. I feel like that's the way I've always been, but definitely as I've gotten older, I really value being able to recharge by myself. So I've been going out every single weekend for like the last six weeks. <laughs> my pocket, my wallet is crying, crying. And my social battery is genuinely on zero. So I'm canceling everything this weekend. I'm staying at home. My phone is permanently on do not disturb mode. I am recharging this weekend. Oh, I was even meant to host a sleepover today, but I just, I had to be honest with my friends. Like I wasn't even gonna lie to them and say, look, this has come up or that's come up. I literally told them my social battery is so low. My cup is empty. I have nothing to give at this point in time. So I need to look after myself first. Let's meet during the week. We'll do a sleepover after I get back from holiday. And they were so understanding, which was so nice. I feel like the fact that I've got to a place where I can recognize when my social battery is on zero and when I need to recharge by myself is a massive sign of growth because I would have never done that before. Like I would have just burnt out and been breaking down every single day and still gone out. Whereas now it's just like, nah, you prioritize your peace. What do you guys do when your social battery is on zero? What things do you guys do to recharge your battery? How do you replenish your cup so you can keep on showing up as your best self? And have you experienced burnout this summer? I feel like this is the season to go out and socialize, you know, as the weather is really nice and you don't want to miss out on things, but sometimes you really just have to listen to your body. This is my first time using this product and it's, it's actually done a very good job. I'm shook, I'm shook. It's, this is also e.l.f. I just picked this up. I've never used it before. I didn't even look at the reviews for this before I picked it up, but it looked like it was an okay shade. Just following like my natural brow shape. You know the vibes. Let's go in with some blush. So we've got the NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is the first time I'm using this product as well. This is new, I bought it yesterday. Um, but you can't go wrong with a coral blush. She's giving natural flush babe. Kind of reminds me of the Glossier, dare I say. Slight dupe. This is a definite dupe for Cloud Pain. Wait, so let me show you the colors. So this is Cloud Pain. Nah, that's a dupe. 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 Little bit there. All right, cool. I definitely over blush, but it's, it's fine. Pretty girls over blush. Let's do some powder just to set everything in place. So this is also a new product to me. Elf Perfect Finished HD Powder. So it doesn't really show much color. And when you set it in place, it's pretty much transparent. So just to tone the blush down, let's go in with Morphe's. Glam Bronze and Prodigy. I this is this is my go-to bronzer anyway. So yeah, what else can I update you guys on? I'm going to Greece next week. I will be vlogging a little bit when I'm out there, showing you guys what we get up to. I'm going with a couple of my high school friends. One of them I've been on holiday with before. The other one I've literally known her since 
I was 11 and I've never been on holiday with her so it should be really really fun. I'm gonna use this pencil in my waterline. I don't usually like using a white pencil but I couldn't find a cream one so and I don't want to buy a new cream one so we're just gonna make this one work okay. Yeah I'm definitely going in with my other pencil because this is a, it's a bit too stark for me it's just a bit too much. I mean it's still a bit stark but once we get the mascara on it'll be fine. I just want to quickly show you guys this liner as well. I showed you in my uh, Paris vlog, but you can see it's just amazing. So all the products will be linked down below. See how black it is? It's so nice. So good and it lasts all day, like tried and tested. This is my favorite liner at the moment, like drugstore and high end. So full-time contact creation life is going good. I'm just constantly trying to figure out the balance of things because I've grown up in a way where I've always been told you need to get a job at the end of education. So I just don't have that like entrepreneurial autonomy that maybe some other people might have. And working in healthcare versus working for myself is very, very, very different. But now I would definitely say opportunities have been coming through. I feel super blessed and super grateful to be able to do what I do. I think my hardest challenge is just trying to figure out my schedule because work and play like overlap so much right now. So I'm just trying to like put myself out there, be more available. This is the mascara I'm using. This mascara is freaking amazing. We're figuring it out. We're learning. It's been like three months now. Um, so it's not been long. Uh, but I think one thing that we all need to practice is showing ourselves more grace, especially when you've had like a massive change or shift in your life, realizing that you could be going at 100 miles per hour, but like things take time to see progress. Things take time to see results and you just need to keep at it. It's important to show yourself patience and grace in the same way that you would with other people. I need to practice what I preach more, but that's the vibes at the moment. Therapy has also been really good as well. I had my ninth session yesterday. It's been nine weeks. I think I'm gonna continue uh, until the 18 week mark and then kind of see where I'm at at that point. But that'll be a quarter of a year. I'll be in a good place to see kind of how far I've come with therapy at that point. But yeah, man, best investment I've made in myself all year. I just feel like I'm a lot more emotionally stable, acceptant of self and just upholding my values more. When I'm talking about values, I mean, what are the things that you, if you had to choose like three words that would define what you look for when you, when you kind of seek relationships with other people, romantic or non-romantic, what would those things be? So this is something that I actually did with my therapist uh, like a couple weeks ago. And I said, respect, but being respectful, being genuine, and I think kindness was the third one. But the fundamental thing with values is that you need to uphold them in every, on every level. Are you upholding those values when you interact with other people? Are other people showing you those values when you interact with them? And are you showing those values to yourself in your quiet moments? And that really struck a chord for me. I feel like I really need to work on upholding those values with myself, on myself. Showing myself more respect, being kinder to myself, because that, bruh, I think we can all practice kindness to ourselves a bit more. It's, it's very easy to forget to be kind to yourself. But I would definitely encourage you guys to just take a moment, sit down by yourself and think of those three key values that you want to uphold and think about them in those three tiers. So do you show those values to other people? Do other people show those values to you? And do you show those values to yourself? And then if there's a particular area that you feel like you lack in more than others, then just be more mindful of it and try to exercise those values a bit more there. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a darker shade around my lips. Spring. I can't believe we're already in September now though, guys. I feel like just where the world is right now, we need more kindness, we need more love, we need more compassion. This is the final look, guys. What do you think? Okay, I think 
you so much guys for watching if you made it this far. Sitting down and chatting with you guys just reminds me that I haven't made a video of this in a really long time. So this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I mean, it wasn't really a tutorial. It was Don't forget this liner. Don't forget to show me on the channel as per usual. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, help your girl pay the bills. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in next week's video. I ain't got a price, that's what I thought, that's what they taught Yeah, I'ma take my chance till I drop, mm -hmm.